everybody today I'm gonna be showing you how to make one of these um origami salt sellers and or fortune teller um it can be found in this the Mitchell I mean Michael G LaFosse classic origami um no one else had a tutorial for this on YouTube. I tried searching this book and it's called a salt cellar in this. So um you want to you want to um make um fold it like a triangle. You know, by taking one corner and folding it to the other. You wanna do that both ways, then you wanna fold it in half by taking each edge both ways and now you're ready to begin those were just guideline creases so you're going to start off by making a blitz base now a blitz fold means you take the four corners fold them to the center so you want to fold number one Okay, two, three, and four. I had to do a take two of this because my brother came in and it just kind of fell apart. And do the same thing on this side, make another foot space. So, one, two, Three, four. Now you just fold in half. Now I would be able to, but um, you would have to put your thumbs and index fingers in to make it, but I can't do that. I'll have to put my thumb, index finger, and middle, and other and ring, I guess, finger in there. So you start pushing these together. Same thing with the side. Yeah. But once you get those together, it should look something like this. Then if you want it to be a salt cellar, turn over. Then you put it at your table and put in like maybe um, salt on this one, pepper four little spices and then or if you want it to be a fortune teller you would put your thumbs and index fingers in here and then on the inside write the um you would write numbers one through eight or one through four and then you would put the fortunes inside under the numbers then you would um then you would put like little words on these. I don't know how the game exactly works, but you're supposed to put um two even number of letter words and then two odd number. But you just push these together by putting your fingers in here. Once you've once you're finished with that, then um you've got your salt cellar or something. I have a lot more origami tutorials that I might be able to do. Like the um origami cup, which I oh I already did that one. Um the koi which is a fish if you don't know. The balloon Bunny balloon, chopstick, peacock, chopstick wrist, flapping bird. This one actually does flap if you pull the neck and uh, tail. Uh, Hashi wrapper, she's supposed to hold chopsticks and pencils. Newspaper hat, fox puppet, duck.
picture frame. The picture frame is one of the easiest. Um, crane. Dark plane. And then a lot more. And I'll probably teach you how to make this. Um, an origami Zelda Triforce. <laughs> I just saw this one on YouTube, and what's pretty cool about these is if you interlock them, you get, mm, I just made this one up myself, hold on, I'll interlock them and show you what you get, I can't do this because you need two hands, so. Done. When you interlock them, you'll get something like this. And if you um, pull open on it, then um, you'll get something that looks kind of like the Goron brace from the game. I'll show you. Hold on. I'll show you what you'll get. Like I said, you'll get something like this. So then if you pull outwards a little on the insides, you'll get the Goron's brace, kind of. That, that's just mine, and there, I just made that one up. Although I did see the tutorial for the Triforce on YouTube. Okay, and that's how you make that. Bye.